स्टार्ट करें गुड मॉर्निंग द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर फाइव हीट एंड टेम्परेचर एंड आई हैव टॉट यू और आई हैव गिवेन यू द नोट अप टू टेम्परेचर नाउ आई एम बिगेनिंग विथ थर्मोमीटर वॉट इज थर्मोमीटर फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट इज अ थर्मोमीटर इज अ डिवाइस और एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट बाई विच वी कैन मेजर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ बॉडी नाउ अ थर्मोमीटर हैज टू थिंग्स दैट इज लोअर फिक्स पॉइंट लोअर फिक्स पॉइंट एंड अपर फिक्स पॉइंट अपर फिक्स point what is lower fixed point we should know and what is upper fixed point lower fixed point is the temperature at which pure ice melts or pure water freezes that is taken as lower fixed point upper fixed point is the boiling point of pure water that is our upper fixed point now one thing we should know that the tem the temperature of the difference between upper fixed point and lower fixed point is called fundamental interval fundamental interval that is upper fixed point upper fixed point minus lower fixed point this one is called fundamental now we have three scales celsius fahrenheit and kelvin whenever we come to this one the lower that is celsius fahrenheit and kelvin For Celsius thermometer, thermometer lower fixed point is zero degree C, and upper fixed point is hundred degree C, and it is divided into hundred division. Hundred divisions are there. and one division is equal to 1 degree c one division is equal to 1 degree c for fahrenheit thermometer for fahrenheit thermometer for fahrenheit thermometer lower fixed point is equal to 32 degree fahrenheit and upper fixed point is equal to 212 fahrenheit now the difference between these two that is fundamental interval is equal to fundamental interval is equal to 100 ac so This one is divided into 180 divisions, 180 divisions, and one division is equal to cos. One division is equal to one Fahrenheit. Now the next type of thermometer is Kelvin. For Kelvin. lower fixed point is equal to 273 k here you should know one thing that you will not write degree here only kelvin is regarded as k and upper fixed point is upper fixed point is 373 kelvin the fundamental interval is equal to 100 and one division is equal to 1k now one thing i am telling you that is enough 
very important for you and you remember this one this one you will not find in your book that is for any temperature temperature of any scale temperature of any scale minus lower fixed point lower fixed point by fundamental interval fundamental interval for every thermometer this one is a constant quantity this is always same for every scale now from this one we are going to find out the relationship between celsius fahrenheit and kelvin let us consider that the temperature of celsius thermometer b c celsius c fahrenheit f and kelvin k now c here is c the temperature is taken as c and lower fixed point is our zero so we will take c minus zero divided by 100 upper fixed point is 100 minus zero then we come to the next one f minus lower fixed point is 32 212 minus 32 and then for kelvin k minus 273 Divided by 373 minus 273. Now we come from this relation C by 100 is equal to F minus 32 by fundamental interval is equal to 100 AC, and this one is K minus 273 by 100. This one is our required formula from that. I have given that one, and uh, and whenever this one is simplified, then you will get C by pi is equal to F minus 32 by 9 K minus 273 by pi. Understand? This one is our required formula. Now come to the next part, and uh, how we will convert Celsius into Fahrenheit? And Fahrenheit into Celsius. <coughs> Celsius to Fahrenheit. We have C by five, F minus thirty-two by nine. So Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we get nine by five C. Is equal to F minus 32. Then 1.8 C plus 32 is equal to Fahrenheit. This one is our required formula. F is equal to 1.8 C plus 32 is equal to F. Is it clear? Then come to the fact that, you know, whenever we convert Fahrenheit into Celsius, that is Fahrenheit to Celsius, what we have to do? Fahrenheit to Celsius. Then our formula is equal to C by five F minus thirty two by nine. Now that is we have to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. Then this one will be Celsius will be equal to five by nine F minus thirty two. This one is the required formula. Then next one is that. Centigrade to Kelvin. Centigrade to Kelvin. Now, what was there? That was C by five is equal to K minus two hundred seventy three by five. This five is cancelled, so our formula becomes two. C is equal to K minus 
273 that is kelvin to celsius this one is kelvin to celsius and celsius to kelvin that is k is equal to c plus 273 these are the required formula for your chapter now these formulas whenever we come to know something more hai na then 